Hey there, West Michigan. Thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barron's. It's a nice start to the weekend, but things are going to be getting a little bit more dicey as we head towards Sunday. And then as we get into Monday, unfortunately, our summer weather pattern comes to an end and we are fully back into what's going to feel very much like winter. So let's enjoy these photos while we still can take them. Here's a picture, by the way, from Craig at North Beach. Beautiful sunset out there today. You can see people out there enjoying the view and the warm temperatures as the sun went down. Very similar picture from Bill in Grand Haven. A lot of people there uh, on the pier watching the sunset this evening. Really was a great night to get out and enjoy. The good news is this weather stays quiet through the rest of the evening, but as we get into Sunday again, things get a little messier. If you have any photos, we'd love to share them here at 13 in your sign. You can send them to me on social media. Meteorologist Michael Barron's on Facebook and at Mike Barron's WX on Twitter and on Instagram. Your temperatures for the this Saturday hit a high of 81 in Grand Rapids, 80 Holland, 82 Kalamazoo, and now up to 81 in Muskegon. The temperatures inside the three degree guarantee told you 80 hit 81 brings the streak down to four days in a row. Now, speaking of those temperatures in Muskegon earlier this evening, they reported 80, but looks like that may have boosted to 81. Either way, it would tie or break the previous record high for the date set back in 2002. Two. It's not the first day this week. We've seen records fall either. All of these temperatures set records on Friday, 83, a new record in Grand Rapids, beating one from 1941 and tied in 2006. Muskegon broke their record from 2003 and Battle Creek and Kalamazoo both also broke records for 1941. Bad news for people that have been enjoying the warm temperatures as we've been talking about changes are coming. That's why 13 weather ball is lit up in blue as cooler temperatures are in view. View of the 13 weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Of course, that ball blinking bright too with rain in sight. Here's the temperatures as of about 940. Still lots of 70s out there on the lake shore. 70s from Ludington all the way down through Benton Harbor. Those temperatures starting to drop into the 60s for the inland areas. All of us going to drop down into the 60s and eventually 50s as we head through tonight. Winds will stay relatively calm and conditions will stay mostly quiet as we head through the overnight, though we can't rule out an isolated shower or rumble of thunder. Most of the activity though fires up as we get later into Sunday morning through the midday and into the afternoon. We'll hit our peak temperatures by the midday and then it's all downhill for the rest of the afternoon as things start to fall all the way from Sunday afternoon through Monday when temperatures will be notably colder than they've been in a while. Your day planner out there calls for a low of 58 overnight. Again, may see a stray isolated shower or a thunderstorm. Most of the storm chances and rain chances come tomorrow. High 68 in Grand Rapids falling through the afternoon. Monday rain and snow possibly with some minor accumulation out there on the grassy areas. Bridges and overpasses would be another area that could get slick as high temperatures only make their way to about 38. The radar out there 943 in West Michigan showed a few spotty showers down toward portions of Barry County, but that was really about it. The bulk of the rain activity and the storm still to the west. Lots of severe weather in Illinois and stretching further down along the Mississippi River. This system will be pushing our way for tomorrow and it does bring us a small risk for some strong storms. A level one out of five risk covers West Michigan on Sunday. All threats are in the low category, as is our confidence in seeing severe weather tomorrow, but something to be aware of nonetheless as we get into the second half of the weekend. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and track that weather hour by hour. You can see the mostly quiet forecast overnight, but can't rule out that stray shower or a thunderstorm. We'll stay quiet through the beginning of Sunday morning, but as we get past nine o'clock, we see lots of rain and storms start to develop across the region. Again, a few of those could be gusty, so we will keep a close eye on it. But once this big area of rain passes by, that's when temperatures really start to fall. We get the cold air wrapping around the low pressure system and rain turns to snow Sunday night. And by Monday morning, we could be looking at some pretty widespread snow here in West Michigan. That snow going to continue throughout the day on Monday and into Monday evening before finally coming to an end as we get into early Tuesday. Now, because of all the warm temperatures, we're not expecting anything major to stick here in West Michigan, but we may pick up some minor accumulations again, especially on those grassy areas. So don't be surprised if we get a brief covering of white in some spots out there as we work our way through Monday. It's going to be some pretty heavy, slushy, wet snowflakes as we head through the start of the week.
Temperatures though, before we get to that snow, we're looking at 60s again for your Sunday, but they do fall throughout the day. Windy conditions developing tomorrow as well. We'll see a bit warmer conditions up to the north because they'll see the rain later in the morning. We'll be up close to 70 for the highs. Temperatures closer to the upper 60s from Grand Rapids down toward Kalamazoo. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. <laughs> Temperatures really do crash as we head through the day on Sunday. We'll be looking at temperatures that drop to a high of just 38 on Monday up to 44 Tuesday. We do recover all the way back up into the mid 60s by Thursday, but that too a brief recovery as we see temperatures go back down next Saturday in a low pressure system, much like the one coming through tomorrow could bring additional snowflakes by next Saturday too though temperatures again warm back up after it moves out. Now the DNR is still investigating the cause of a wildfire in Allegan County on Wednesday this week. 303 acres were burned. That's according to the latest information from the Clyde Township Fire Department. Most of the land is in the Allegan State Game Area. No one was injured as well as no homes being damaged. However, six homes were temporarily evacuated. Clyde Township Fire investigators say it was fueled by high winds that created 30 foot flames at times. DNR plows were able to stop the fire 600 yards from those evacuated homes. And there was more fire danger Friday as multiple departments and the DNR responded to a wildfire on the west side of Monday Avenue in the city of Nuevo. That fire broke out around 5 p.m. Friday and was approximately seven acres in size. The fire was contained by crews Friday evening back beyond property west of Monday Ave that was owned by the city. No word on this evening as to the cause of that fire. by the Power of Poison exhibit at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. Now, many are certainly wondering why we had this fire danger over the past week, given the flooding that we were covering just about a week ago, and it all comes down to the time of the year when this unseasonably warm, dry air moved in. We're not in the growing season yet, so a lot of that water was not picked up into the grasses, and what was picked up was quickly dried out thanks to some very dry air. These are the relative humidity levels over the past 72 hours, and you can see levels that got down well below the 20s and 30% range, which means we are going to be able to dry out surface fuels very quickly, and that posed the fire dangers that we saw earlier this week. In fact, at times across West Michigan, we saw fire dangers in the very high to extreme category, and that was all again due to a combination of factors mostly centered around that low humidity and the gusty winds that we had earlier this week. So here's what that does. Again, when humid conditions are around, the surface fuels think things like pine needles, leaves, twigs, any kind of other forest debris uh, keeps a good amount of moisture in it. The grasses too. We lower that humidity and the air actually starts to suck the moisture out of those materials, drying them up through evaporation. Well, when that happens and we add something, say like a strong gusty wind near things that could create sparks like chainsaws, ATVs or campfires and a stray ember gets away into that dry fuel. We can very quickly cause a fire and in those conditions, those fires can get out of control in a hurry. And we saw that a couple times this past week with some wildfires here in West Michigan. And finally tonight, check this out. What a better way to cap off an April day with temperatures above 80 than with a little ice cream. This was a look at the line at the Frosty Boy on Plainfield Avenue in Grand Rapids Friday night. We were there about 830 in the evening. And at that point, there were 73 people in line. Frosty Boy spring hours are from 2 to 9 p.m. and they do ask customers to keep those hours in mind and to be courteous to staff members as many of them are still in school and have early mornings during the week. So they want to be able to get them home at their scheduled time after work at a reasonable hour. Well, I hope you got to enjoy some ice cream while the warm weather was around because if you're waiting, well, you're about out of time. Temperatures certainly falling in the days ahead, but we'll keep you covered here at 13 on your side. You can always get the latest forecast and weather information 13 on your side.com or by downloading 13 on your side news and weather apps. For now, thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barron's.